everyone. That's what I'm to say. Today, I'm going to briefly explain how to draw a two-dimensional plot in the TechPlot software. Let's start. Here, we have two groups of data set. First group is energy efficiency and second one is net power output. We should copy and paste into a text file and save as a PLT format. I copy the first group and paste into a text file and save as give a name, save, copy the second group and paste, save as y2 now we should open one of our saved file i open first group and i will add the second one in our software wait for it to load This is our first group of data set, energy efficiency. We should add the second data set. File tab, load data, and choose our data set, open. These are three options, and we choose third one, open data to active frame. Now, we have to create a new map. For this, we need to mapping style window. We can click on the curve or use plot tab mapping style. This is our first map. We can create a new map. Okay. And change zone from this column and change our y-axis. This is second group of data power generation and energy efficiency. I want to give a name for them. Energy efficiency is shown by eta and Greek symbol you show with this method h is eta in this software and for subscript we use this method net power output That's it. This part for subscript and this part for Greek symbol. There are several tabs in the mapping style and I want to explain them one by one. Next tab is line. We can change line color, line thickness and pattern. For example, line thickness and change it, enter, and change its pattern, dash, dash dot, and for curve, we can change its type, linear fit, or spline, for symbols. We can acti activate symbols from this part, symbols, and this software has several options for symbol shape like delta gradient so on i choose delta and we can change its outline color and change its thickness and fill mode line color black or specific color we can change here up to now 
we only set our curve. In the next step, we need to set our axis, title, and number. For this, we can click on the axis to open axis details or use plot tab and click on the axis. These are our axes and there are several options or tabs for each axis. I want to set the X axis, range tab. This tab helps us to specify appropriate interval link for each axis. In this example, the minimum value for X axis should be 19 and maximum value should be 31. Next tab is tick. This tab helps us to increase the accuracy of our chart. We set the specification of the minor and major tick from the tick tab. We can change minor thickness or minor lengths and major lengths thickness or spacing, I set them, for example, 1.5, thickness 0 0.3, 1, and 3. Next step is labels. We can change it font, for example, times New Roman, change its size and bold. Next step is titles. We can change its font and size. From this part, we can write specific title for each axis. For example, in X axis, write pressure. And with offset from line helps us to increase or decrease space between line and title. Example 6. And line tab, we can change color of line or thickness. If we have, if we want to have a closed area, we can use show grid border and change its thickness. Now we repeat these steps for Y1 and Y2 axis. To avoid repetition, I have done it before. I want to show it. This is. Now I want to show the legend. Legend is important in the figure. We can use plot tab and line legend, show line legend, change its font and size. Okay. And for the location of the legend, we can set it by drag and drop to find a good location in the figure. This is the final version of figure. Now we can save our figures with the lay format. Save as. and file tab use export options find our format tiff is good enter a bit like thousand and convert to two five six colors to have a high resolution figure Wait for it to render. Excuse me.
This is final version of our figure. That's it. Thank you.